This is only going to be a tiny, tiny short video because my phone battery is literally about to run out. But I just read this thing on the internet and you can do your own research about it, whatever. But I just want to put this out to you. Hopefully it gets a good few views so that people actually see this and do their own research. In the 1960s, the sugar industry quietly paid off the government and scientists that were doing research papers and stuff like that. Not actually the government, I think. They paid the scientists that did the research paper to downplay sugar's role in the accumulation of atherosclerosis and heart disease and cardiac arrest and all that sort of stuff and to instead blame saturated fats and fats in general. And that has affected dietary guidelines for absolutely decades and it has affected mine and your probably view on diet as a whole even though we were not even alive we were not even thought of our parents may have not even been alive or thought of this when this kind of whole thing was actually being imagined and being done this whole disgusting um i don't what the hell's it called bribery or blackmail or whatever paying people off like that happens quite a lot in the modern world and that's why doing your own research on genuine studies and stuff like that it's very very important but you can do your own research on what what you think on this saturated fat and sugar debate but it's just something that i read and it's from a pretty credible source brian johnson and he does loads of research on on things like sugar and saturated fat and how to reduce your aging and sometimes you can get people to do the research for you but just look at things from like the national institute of health i've come across a couple of studies before where it showed like how saturated fats were kind of demonized in the first place and then that affected government dietary guidelines in america which then affected the dietary guidelines over the whole world it's a very very sad thing but sugar is a pretty bad thing for you and it's way worse than anything like saturated fats or anything like that such saturated fats are actually kind of good for you in some sense and have some benefits and even sources of saturated fat like butter have other nutrients inside of them that makes them quite good but they're also way better for frying in because polyunsaturated fats are unstable with their carbon carbon double bonds inside of their structure but with that i recommend subscribing for more content like this